I have finally completed my bedroom makeover and this is the video where you get to see the masterpiece. It is beautiful, it is functional, it is aesthetically pleasing. I mean, this one is my new favorite. So guys, let me just give you a detailed tour of my bedroom. So for my bedroom, I wanted to add a pop of color, something that is mild but still pops at the same time. So I wanted to do that with a focal wall or a focal corner in my bedroom. So I want to mother Kinju paint and cement. We chose a few color shades but I told them I wanted something a bit extra. So they showed me their special effect wall paint. Maybe this one. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now something like this one. This one's a crown, huh? Yes. yes, you can have them in any color you want. Right? So these are the special effects. Yes, yeah, paint. yeah, the paint. special effects. Yes. This one, the special yes. effect. This is like the abu finish. Yes. So someone can get this in different colors, right? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, actually, uh -huh. you will choose from our color chart. Okay. Any shade yes. of the preference. Huh? Okay. Then on the on the top we have now the metallic, yes. which oh. is a exact paint. Huh? Okay. The special effect. Then you use a spatula yes. to do the whole grain. Oh, to do the whole, so you can exactly. just do like normal paint and then use the special effect on top. Yes, actually, any color. Any color, but yes. it must be minimal. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. any color of your preference, yes. then you do the whole grain. Okay. Yes. What about this one? Ah, it's beautiful. Wait, this is for interior only? No, interior only. This is for interior? Yes. It's known as an elephant skin. Okay. Yes. So, yes. This is available in different colors. Any color you want, huh? Actually, this is nice. Uh, this looks really good. And uh -huh, you see? Yes, actually, uh -huh. it's almost the same as this one. Yes. You choose any color you want. For us, we chose black. Yes. Then now we had the metallic gold on top. Yes. Okay. Yes. I've done this a lot on the white. Uh, a number of clients. They're wow. all master, uh -huh. but in beige and white. Ah, nice. So since okay. you're doing interior, you know what that's the black for us. Okay. okay. No, that one is crown, this one is zero. Oh, yes. Okay. I think I'm more drawn to this pattern. Wow. Uh -huh. I feel like it's mild and nice at the yes. same time. I don't know what you think. It's very fun to listen. So this is matte finish. It's yeah. a bit rough yeah. on the finish. And this is silk. Yeah. And the glossy Glass. and the smooth. It's very smooth, right? Yes, yes. I think in regards to pattern, okay. I am more drawn to this. Okay. This is called, what is the name of this? Uh, it's Kadoro. Kadoro. And, yes, and it's actually available. Okay. And we have in a chart of the same. Huh? Okay. Let me Let me bring the chart so that you can select the color. Okay. We have different shades mm -hmm. that are available readily in our branches. If you need it, we can keep it for you. You can return. I can reach right away. Yes, no in just five minutes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, I wanted something pinkish. Okay. As you can see, they have so many other different colors, so many shades from blues to grays to peaches. These are peach. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I know <laughs> men with color, so <laughs> it is well. They have neutrals and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of taking this color. Wow. It's the M432. I feel like it's going to work very well for my space. So yeah, I think I'm settled.
We wanted the M432 and it's exactly what we got. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good morning. I just woke up a couple of minutes ago. Um, I want to make breakfast real quick. It's around 7.45 in the morning. Um, Afundi is coming. They have sent in a painter. He's coming to do like an ascent wall for me um on this wall on the focal wall or where my headboard is before he gets here i want to make breakfast real quick and then i also want to roll up my carpet and remove my beddings because i don't want my beddings to get paint and just move everything away from this wall for him to just uh find that the wall is ready um i want him i want us to do this real quick i hope he's not going to take a lot of time because i have a meeting at one so i'm hoping it's going to take around three to four hours to paint i think three hours it's just a small part paint wait for it to dry or settle and then do another coat and another coat so first of all um let me go make breakfast and then i'll talk to you guys once the food is here Thinking I would wait You never took the time And now it's too late I hate to feel ignored So now I'm gonna end this thing End this thing now And don't you make it harder than it is Just stop just got to Okadeko. I came to look for a wall hanging for my bedroom. So um, that's what I'm looking for. I had two early morning meetings. So I'm done. Now I'm at Oka as I, as I mentioned. So I'm looking for a wall hanging for my bedroom. And let's see what I'm going to find. I hope I get something. I'm just looking for something simple, like an abstract, just something simple. Because we already painted my bedroom, and for me to be able to complete that um, reel that I was doing for Mozakinju paint and cement, I need to like have something so that, that complements the paint that we did. Also to complete my room, I need that wall hanging, so let me see if I'm going to find something. Here are some of the pieces that I'm seeing. No, I don't think I want something like this. I don't know. Let me do a wide shot angle, yeah. For you guys to be able to see. No. Okay, the paint, the paint over here is almost the one I have in the bedroom, but still, I don't feel that one. I don't feel, still no. And then these ones are also quite big. Let me look for something a bit smaller. Oh, look at these guys. This is like net or something. It's really, really nice. So let me see. it's the next day and it's time for me to replace my light fixture i mean look at that i have had that 
in my space for the longest time and it's time to bring in something new something modern something that is going to blend with this space of course a room is not complete when you don't have a suitable light fixture so i looked online and i saw tungsten electricals i talked to them and they came to the rescue guys let me just tell you their service is so prompt i just talked to them i chose a light fixture i told them i do not have anyone to install it for me and they send in one of their team members to do installation so they do deliveries countrywide and they do installations countrywide and let me just tell you how gorgeous is this beautiful piece i mean it's so nice i know you're going to see the complete bedroom it blends so well with my room i love 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 it this one is one of my favorites I just got um, some new stuff. I got some pillows from Deluxe Homes. The pillows I've been using in this house have been so bad. So I wanted to get um, more pillows to replace all the pillows in the house. I got six pieces from Deluxe Homes. They have really nice ones. And then they just um, brought in their premium microfiber duvets. These ones are so nice. I think I should just open one and show you guys. They told me they were bringing them in. So they just got in and they had, um, they sent me uh, one for PR and then I added two more as for my house. So I got these ones from Deluxe Homes. They are so nice. Let me just open one and just show you guys the quality. So, uh, this is how they come in wrapped. I told you guys they have just brought them in. They are, they are premium um, quality microfiber duvets. These ones are really good. Like even the packaging says it all. Duvets, they have the same quality of duvet in a two... Um, what is it called in two types so the first one is 200 gsm and then the second one is 400 gsm so what i have right here is 400 gsm it's bigger it's fuller like it's heavy it's the heavy heavy very good quality duvet the other one is the 200 gsm exact same quality but I'm slightly smaller than this. The filling is not very, very puffed. So if you don't want very heavy duvets, you can get them from Deluxe Homes. This one's the quality. The quality is so good. These are not the duvets that you buy online. Um, like the ones being sold in Kamukunji and then people resell them. This is very good quality. This is microfiber. Even cleaning this is so easy. Um, you can see the neat quality stitching. Like this is just some really, really good stuff. So make sure you get yourself some nice duvets from Deluxe Homes. Check them out. This is the microfiber. You know microfiber is great. It's not the kind that once it's cleaned um you start getting the fiber is in a katika katika like the fiber is getting um separated from the fabric like the coating so this is great great quality duvet and i am so happy i got this let me just spread it on my bed and then i'll show it to you guys shortly so i just wanted to show you guys the difference i have this um duvet kindly ignore the background noise um it's the weekend and kids are, are at home so i wanted to show you guys um this the difference between the two duvets so this is the duvet that i, I have been using um this one is a duvet that i bought along uh i think last year in kamokunji of course i know it should it, it cannot be compared to this but you can tell the difference um from the density and everything you can see so this is the 400 gsm um as i mentioned i have folded them i have folded them equally in fours um both this side and this side and that is just the difference in density look at how good this looks this is so so nice and i just love them so they have stocked them in five by six six by six like you can check them out they have all sizes available and then i also got i just finished unpacking their pillows the ones that i got i got these pillows from um kamokunji and um they are quite stiff i don't know if someone has experienced the same they are quite stiff, but these ones 
are very very nice so i have not been using this i think this ones i've been using these pillows just for bed decor and every time i was coming to sleep i used to use the smaller um decor pillows as my pillow when i'm sleeping so now i want to do away with this because they are very very stiff and then i want to use this you can see i love myself a nice comfy pillow something that just when you sleep you feel like it's massaging your neck you know so um i want to dress this one's up and then um address my bed so guys as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i have finally completed my bedroom makeover i mean this is a whole breath of fresh air working, working and curating client spaces is a basic thing for me and i just love how my clients are so happy and motivated with their spaces and me coming back home to a space that is not um, aesthetically pleasing is just not it for me so i am so happy that i'm finally done with my bedroom my living room is still work in progress together with my kitchen and my guest bedroom but for today i just want to give you guys a detailed detailed master bedroom tour for my bedroom and i know you're gonna love it so let me show you um the before from where we started the after after the first makeover and the final right now after we are finally finally done you made a big mistake thinking i would wait you never took the time and now it's too late i hate to feel it gorgeous is that bedroom let me tell you guys i love every single part of my room i hope you love it too let me take you guys through the details and the plugs um in case you want something um similar or you like something and you want to get it so when you first walk into my door um the first wall to your left um is this rack as you know i used to have a certain dressing table i gave it away i think in the on my instagram i did a giveaway for that and i also had a bedside table so i thought i'd rather get this rack that is minimal um space saving and more functional and it can hold up more things so um at the top part i is where i keep all my wigs those are my wig stands i got them from raki beauty i did a haul a dubois haul for them so i got mine at wholesale price i have like six of them so um i don't have my wigs there my wigs are being laundered i just took them yesterday i'm yet to pick them up so this is a six tire rack um uh, I got this one from, uh, I wouldn't say Agatha Interiors because we don't sell furniture, but I just called my fundi and he created this for me. I showed him and he created this for me. So over here, the first track is where I have my hair and beauty, uh, my hair products over here. And then next to it, I have displayed all my scents. 
I wanted uh, a whole um, perfume rack, but uh, the shop that I checked out online didn't have them in store. So um, I kind of displayed my scents over here. So these are all my scents. I'm hoping to add on to my collection. The reason as to why I got uh, this shelf is because I love everything at arm's reach. I don't like looking for stuff. So I love where I can be able to see where everything is. And I feel like this rack is just very, very functional for me. On the third tire is where I have all my makeup um, products. My camera is doing the most today, guys. It's losing focus on and off. But... Um, let me just try and adjust it at least better. So on the third tire, I have all my makeup stuff. So over here, you know, I love using some Zaron products um, for my makeup. I have my day creams, my night creams, and my Malaika moisturizer. I love, love this moisturizer. I use it on a daily go-to and my Malaika SPF. Um, over here, in between, I have all my makeup up brushes and behind them i have um just a few other things that um i need files eyeliners everything and then here is where i have all the small little things so these storage containers i got them from deluxe homes on instagram the clear ac acrylic oh i almost said acrylic <laughs> The clear acrylic um, storage containers. I got them from Deluxe Homes on Instagram. And then um, this smaller one. There's this smaller one that I just wanted it to accommodate and store all my small other makeup products. Hey, my goodness. My camera is frustrating me today, guys. Just bear with me. So this smaller one, I just wanted something that could accommodate all my smaller um, uh, products like my lippies, concealers, um, lash glue, serums, everything, mascara. So this is where they all are. Uh, this small acrylic container, I got it from House of Leather. You can check them out. And then behind them is where I have my lashes. I have my palette, my eyeshadow palette, highlighter palette. I mean, just, you know, my lashes, everything. They are behind because I have extra space because this is a bit small. So that is my makeup, um, that tire. On the fourth tire, I have all my, do I say skincare products and um, body creams, lotions, everything, because I have my scrub over here. I also have this mask from Malaika products, my extra wipes. Um, Over here is where I have arranged um my triangular, what are these called? My triangular puffs this one's for highlighting and then down below it is where i have my clean blenders and behind is where i store my dirty blenders for when i'm going to be cleaning uh, my makeup brushes so that's just my small organizational you know that's how i like to organize my blenders over here i have my washes my lotions um skincare basically this is my skincare rack um on the fifth tire here i have my bob wigs that just can't be hanged and my human hair that i use for track and soul i have them here my extensions that i use i have stored them over there in be and then over in this container i don't know if you have noticed what i did over here i got like a similar similar containers to what i have on my shelves don't even mind my wardrobe guys i need to declutter and organize that side but um this i got smaller ones of what i have in my wardrobe and these ones are from house of leather so over here i have all my daughter's cute stuff her bows her hair products her bands everything to do with hair so this is another hair rack over here and her extra rubber bands and i pushed in her small piggy bank at the corner at the bottom most rack is where i have all 
um, my shooting gear. I have stored them all in this um, bag that we got from YouTube. Um, I have my microphones, my cables, my chargers. Everything is just there. And then I have my gimbal. And I think an extra gimbal is over there. I need to look for it. So that's just about it for this rack. I feel like it holds a lot more stuff. And it's so much easier for me to know where everything is. So now that we are done with that, over at this side, um, when I got my makeup table, the one that I had here, I thought uh, I could use it as a study table, but it just wasn't functional, um, especially because of the fact that it had a glass top at the top. And then at the same time, it was very tiny, so I couldn't even use it to do anything. So I wanted to have a desk or a study area. Um, of course, I can't have an office in my guest bedroom because it's in use. So I wanted to squeeze in something functional. So if you can remember over here, I had a bedside table that I did a giveaway for. And um, I thought when I have this, I don't really need a bedside table because I have my alarm clock over there this is more functional every time i want to charge my phone i can just place it on on top there and i feel like in case i want like a bedside lamp i can always add it um on the study table and it's going to look like you know a study desk lamp at the same time summing up to a bedside lamp so um over at this corner this is another favorite corner this is a functional corner but this is a favorite corner i have uh, my pampas grass that i got a long time ago guys please don't ask me about the plug i can't even remember where i got the um i got it but um it's quite old you can see them falling off and all that but it's still functional and it matches the aesthetics so over at this side i got my desk from top North studio top North studio guys they came through with this gorgeous study table i love how simple minimal modern i love how modern it looks i love the aesthetics i got the study table together with the seats from them you can see the wood tones that i brought in into the space and i feel like the light wood has really been speaking to me of late this seat is super comfy as i showed you guys in the previous vlog i unboxed this and i gave you all the details about this i also did a detailed reel for this so in case you want to know the pricing just check out my instagram or check out top no studio because it's the plug for this gorgeous study table directly above my study table i have this beautiful mirror i got this mirror from um deluxe homes on instagram i think it's a new shop so they're kind of setting up i don't know if they have already posted their mirrors and they are all hanging they have a lot a lot of things in their store i love the fact that it's not just the regular round mirrors that we have and i feel like it blends so well with the space and then i love um the fact that i can use my study table as an office area or every time i want to do my makeup i can just pick um, my makeup place them on the table do my makeup so well so um you can see what i was trying to do with the space i was trying to reduce on furniture and clutter and just have something that is multi-purpose because where what is the need of having a bedside table when at the same time i can have a study table that sums up to a bedside table to an office area to my uh, makeup vanity like it's an all-in-one i know i hope you get what i was trying to do in this space on my desk i kept it totally simple um, I thrifted this container and I feel like it blends so well with the wooden aesthetics and the whites that I'm working with in my space. And then just a couple of notebooks, some sticky notes that I got from um, Miniso. And then over here I have, this is thrifted, trust the timing of your life. But I feel like Deluxe Homes are also doing frames. So I feel like you can check them out and I know they're going to be posting frames. I think they're basically setting up their store and um, they're going to be posting a lot more stuff that's what they told me and I'm just relaying the message 
so before I had a corner, a mirror, a full length mirror at the corner, but you can see it behind me. It's directly adjacent to my door. When you walk in, I have my full length mirror over there and then my wardrobe on that whole wall. I'm not focusing on my wardrobe, guys. I think I'm going to declutter with you guys on the next video for my wardrobe part. Let's talk about the other part of the bedroom i mean can you imagine every time i walk into my bedroom i see this this beautiful bedroom my bed um the aesthetics that are flowing so well i totally totally love this focal wall of my of my bedroom so i wanted it to feel like two different spaces like i have the study or vanity area and then over at this half i have like my bedroom area that's why we had all this going on so let's first of all talk about the um painting that i have on the wall my whole bedroom was totally white so i thought of having that special effect paint from Modokinju. I got the paint from Modokinju, guys. They came, they did the painting for me. They did um, they did the skimming for me because it's quite an old wall. So they did the skimming, they did the painting, and I just wanted to do something a bit different. I wanted to do my painting a bit different. People are so used to having like painting the whole wall as the focal wall or the ascent wall. I wanted to have this nice cute corner that would look so well and pop that is that would add a pop of color. I've all I've been talking about adding a pop of color in my bedroom and I love peach. If you're new here, let me just let you know that my favorite color is peach. Look at my dress. Look at my room. I love peach so much. I know my camera doesn't make my dress look like it's peach, but it's peach. I love peach so much. And you can see that's what I wanted to add in my bedroom with a focal wall. And I love it. That corner is so beautiful. It's special effect paint that you can get from Mother King, you guys. So in case you're in Kenya or you're outside Kenya in East Africa, they do deliveries and they can recommend fundis for you. So I told them I don't have a fundi. I don't know anyone who's going to paint this for me. And they recommended professionals um, and they came in and they pulled it off. I wanted to come closer and show you guys the details. So this is not just regular paint. This is special effects paint. If you do this um, on your whole wall, you don't even need to put a wall hanging because it's so beautiful. It's a whole masterpiece by its own. I love the details on it. They have, when you go to Mother Kinju, they are going to show you guys the different special effect paints that they have. And this was just something that popped for me they have these special effect paints in different colors in all colors and they have them in different textures as well and then directly next to it i have this beautiful masterpiece look at this gorgeous wall hanging that i got from deluxe homes i love the wooden details and if you can note or maybe if you saw i'm just trying to flow with the aesthetics um on um, on my study table that are just flowing all the way to the wall hanging and a few other small small details for me it's the details that matter so you can see this gorgeous painting that has some peach and just a small touch of black which i have in my space from the frame of my mirror the mirror my full length mirror behind me to my wall hanging to the small small details that you can find on the bed i feel like this is just totally amazing everything just blends and flows in together so well and seamlessly so i got this painting they custom make paintings at deluxe homes so you can definitely check them out i mean deluxe homes is the next big store you guys they have so many things everything um home improvement everything that you need for your space they have it from the mirrors to the wall hangings to the beddings to the duvets basically everything and a few other kitchen stuff so i love how this space is turning out make sure you let me know down in the comment section below which is your favorite part of the bedroom because 
guys i love every corner of my room i love every single corner for my bed i have this old bed <laughs> that I've uh, had for a while. It was a flat platform bed. So I had just had my team come in and put for me this um, wooden headboard and we painted it white. I don't, I didn't want fabric beds and because I feel like they're too much. Everyone in Kenya has a fabric bed. I just wanted something simple. I just wanted something simple that will not scream and grab all the attention. For me, you know me with simple aesthetics and I know you can see it in the room because simple allows everything else to be noticed and it complements everything else if you work with simple and minimal decor so for my bed it's an old bed i do not have a plug for that but for my beddings guys i told you i just showed you this gorgeous duvet that I got from Deluxe Homes. It's totally microfiber. I also layered up my bed with their pillows. And these ones are just some old pieces I got a while ago. But I feel like they blend so well with my bed and the details that I'm having on. So, um... I did not change um, my throw pillows, but for the bed pillows, you can get them from Deluxe Homes. Together with the whole hanging and the mirror and this gorgeous rattan basket that I have over here as a decor piece for my bed. I got all this from Deluxe Homes together with this beautiful throw blanket. This blanket, I got it from Terry Kenua's mom. As I mentioned in my previous vlog, um, I saw she had posted such a blanket. She had such a blanket in her living room and I told her, Terry, I want that blanket. And she told me her mom was making them and I was just so happy to have supported her mom um, in her knitting business. And I got this one from Terry Kenyon's mom. And of course, to lock up your space, you need a gorgeous light fixture. Look at this beautiful piece that blends so well in this space. I have not put it on because every time I'm shooting, I use my additional lights that I added in my bedroom, but they have a totally different switch for that. So this light, I got it from um, Tungsten Electricals. They came in um, and they totally transformed my ceiling. And I feel like it just ties up and brings everything together because you can see the details peep the details guys you cannot complete this look without a gorgeous light fixture you cannot continue living with those um landlords um uh, light hangings that they put in every space you need a gorgeous light fixture and tungsten electricals came in and they installed this beautiful piece for me i love it mm, on this other wall is where i have my wardrobe or my closet um this one i'm not going to focus a lot on it you can see see the current state everything is a hot mess over there but um for anyone who's watching this for the first time um that is the other side of the room and that is my door and that is a basic tour of my bedroom that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed today's tour i personally love every single spot of this bedroom let me know your favorite spot or your favorite pieces about this room i plugged you on everything so that in case you liked something you can definitely reach out to the companies and grab something similar or just check out their variety so a big thank you to Modokinju paints and cement for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching today's video i love you so much and don't forget that jesus loves you more bye
ask you is I don't want to push you farther away No, I don't want to play no games I just want to call, see if we're okay, babe All I want to ask you 